Hey, there's something I think would be cool is if there was a car manufacturer that was to focus at least on one other vehicles <clears throat> on making it seem like you're driving on a cloud. And I mean, in the sense, not, I mean, it could be the seating and the, the, the suspension, but that's not the main focus on this. This would be the way that it accelerates and the way that the braking works on it. <clears throat> With acceleration, it's been quite a while since vehicles uh, had the acceleration pedal directly connected to a chain that connects to the motor. <clears throat> Maybe there's still some vehicles out there that are like that, but they use an electronic method. Um, most of the time in new vehicles, if not all the time in new vehicles. And the acceleration curve in the pedal itself, I don't mean in the engine, but the, the pedal itself, I, I personally find really unpleasant. It's like, you know, you could push it just a couple millimeters and it makes the, the RPMs go vroom. <clears throat> it's just like, to me it should be, you know, if you want it to go vroom, then you, then you really push it, you know, really push it down, push it like halfway down, you know. To me, you know, you should be able to make a nice, you know, the engine's going you know, so you have nice, precise control of your speed. <clears throat> That's my view on it, but, uh, but, and, and I guess you, you could have the acceleration pedal, the, the, the acceleration curve, you could have that reprogrammed, but to my knowledge, it's just for different vehicles of that manufacturer. I don't know whether you can actually program it for something custom or not, but I think that'd be cool. But since it is electronically controlled, they could feasibly make a vehicle that you can never skid out on accelerating. Now, some people wouldn't like that because they, they think they have this sense of power because they can skid out when they first accelerate. I, I, I'm not one of those people. I, I, I like it to be, I like all the things to be smooth, and it's nice to be smooth for the passengers as well. So have something built in so even if you, you know, you're at a stop and you put the pedal to the metal, it will, it will go fast quickly, but it won't start with you kind of jerking back in the seat, you know, something like that. And then for the braking, same sort of thing. Is it one of the things that <clears throat> I always try to do when I'm stopping a car is make it so that little nudge that's at the end, because there's, there's still some inertia going on when, you know, you're, you're, even if you're going 15 miles an hour, there's still some inertia, and by the time you get to the to the vehicle completely stopped, there's always this little eh at the end, you know? And so I do this, like, feather the brakes just a little bit at the very, very end, so you don't get that little nudge. And sometimes the passengers will go, well, did, did we actually stop? Because they'll think that, uh, you know, I'm still actually going really, really, really slow or something, right? But, you know, I, I like that. You know, just this cloud-like feel. And I think there could be something that gets put into a braking system that that's what you'd experience all the time. Um, unless, let's say, I mean, if there's... If you mash the brakes really quick and you need to stop immediately, you know, and the anti-lock anti brake things thing comes into place and you don't want any any extra movement at all then it wouldn't, that anti-nudge thing wouldn't engage. <clears throat> but I don't know, I think that'd be kind of cool. Another thing I think would be cool, it's not, it's still related to mo to things that have engines. Um, I think it'd be cool if there was a roller coaster, and maybe this already exists too, I don't know, maybe the car that I talked about already exists, maybe this exists too, but... Every time I've seen footage of a roller coaster, the way that they make it go up the incline is always this method of uh, 
they'll have this chain and on the roller coaster there's a little hook thing that, that, that connects to the chain and it brings the car up the track. Well I think it'd be neat if there were on the sides of the cars there'd be these rubber wheels that that go right onto the uh, the track. Um, the rubber wheels that are that are sideways. And the track itself at certain points actually has electricity going through it so that's where it could get this power for a little electric motors and that would be what brings the cars up the track so not only would you not get that <clears throat> little jerky movement they could also make it so it actually goes up the track almost as quickly as a lot of the other parts of of the track when you're already at the top and it's it's using the the uh, gravity to make it uh, go fast right so <clears throat> You know, you'd have this experience on a roller coaster on a roller coaster that would just it would just be fast through the whole thing. You know, none of this. Oh, let's wait for us to go up. Do, 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 do. You hear this little <laughs> sound as you're going up. You know, none of that. It's just all this nice, smooth kind of thing. Now, you know, I haven't looked into the ones those ones where you're. Oh, I forgot what it's called. Where where you're below the tracks. Maybe those already have something like that. I don't know. But the ones where you're sitting above the tracks, I just haven't seen that. And I've seen a lot of footage of roller coasters, especially there's this uh, there's this uh, channel that I'm subscribed to, Theme Park Review. I've always enjoyed their videos, and uh, I've never seen one that does that. So maybe it exists, and I just haven't seen it, but uh, I still think it'd be cool. So...